It's amazing how many connections you can find in chemistry with electrochemistry. Electrochemistry is a topic that should be broached at many points of the year, dealing with single placement reactions or electrochemical cells or as many times as you possibly can because of so many connections with the real life. What we have here is an interesting situation where we have two metals. We have a strand of copper wire that I have cleaned off to make sure it's clean with some steel wool and I have wrapped it around a pencil so I have a strand of copper that's rolled up and that's being hooked to an alligator clip. Then over here I have some magnesium wire, excuse me, magnesium ribbon. Now it's important to recognize that typically you'll find magnesium ribbon that has a coating on it. It's the oxide coating so you're going to have to use some steel wool to really get it clean before you do this. But then I've also taken the magnesium ribbon and wrapped it around the pencil to get two coils. I have a beaker, maybe a 600 milliliter beaker, and it's hooked to an electrochemical buzzer. You can find this at many hobby stores, but this electrochemical buzzer, you want to make sure you get an appropriate voltage. Now a lot of the theory behind this is described in the, re the handout, but you want an electrochemical buzzer that has a 1.5 to 3 volt range so that the voltage given off by this reaction is going to be in that range so the buzzer will work. So what I'm going to do is take the beaker and put some tap water in it. Let's just check. The two pieces of metal are touching the water. And I hear nothing now. Hmm, wonder what we could do to get some kind of reaction. And let me add some hydrochloric acid. This is six molar hydrochloric acid. And the hydrochloric acid, I'm dropping in there one drop at a time. It's dispensing itself through the water. And as it dissociates, you get more ions. And you can hear a little buzzing, but as you get more ions in solution, you can hear a definite buzzing. What does that mean? With the buzzing, those two pieces of wire aren't touching, but what's happened is in this circuit, we have finally completed a circuit. We had the two pieces of metal close by, but we needed something to bridge the gap, and that had to be some kind of connection. We needed the ions in solution to do that. This is all in the write-up, but what happens is the hydrochloric acid breaks up into hydrogen ions and chloride ions, and so you've got the ions in there, but then anytime you have two different metals in a moist environment, you're going to have oxidation reduction. And so what's happening, as the write-up will explain, is the magnesium is changing to a magnesium 2 plus. So it's going from a magnesium 0 to a magnesium 2 plus. We're going to call that oxidation. But now remember, with oxidation, you must also have something that's going on to work with the other electrons, and that's going to be reduction. The reduction is gaining of electrons, so you have to have something there to gain the electrons, and as we said, the magnesium is going to be oxidized, so that's losing the electrons. And so as the magnesium loses the electrons, those electrons are being attached to the hydrogen ions, and what's happening is the hydrogen ions are changing to diatomic hydrogen. So you have two processes here, one losing electrons, another process gaining the electrons, and you have a complete circuit, two metals. This happens a lot in ordinary life. When they have 
the huge tanks for gasoline at gasoline stations. They don't want a moist environment and that gas tank leaking, so they'll have sacrificial metals there that that will be destroyed instead of the gas tank. For many years, in years past, they had to close the Statue of Liberty because the Statue of Liberty had copper pieces being held by iron rivets and when you have two different metals in a moist environment, you have oxidation reduction going on. And they were afraid that those copper pieces would fall down and possibly kill spectators. So they had to come up with a new way to attach those pieces of copper. Chem Matters has an outstanding article dealing with that. But once again, it's important that you take these topics and talk about the chemistry, but more importantly, talk to the students about why it's important to study these topics. So try a reaction like this with a buzzer and get a buzz out of chemistry. Thank you.